We got your, we got your credits, man. Yeah. Let's do them. Wow. This is to be one of the most deadliest in areas in Newham. Guys, I don't know my generation, generation younger than me, maybe two generations up. Mm. See this here? This block here, bruv. You just used to pull the door and just cut the Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, there's a lot of madness happening here, bro. Wow. I can't even say it's so bad, but for, for, for people that know, they know. This 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 Arnold Street block here, even police were scared. The police were even scared to drive on the street, bro. Remember, this here, yeah? It's one way in, and then it's one way out. A lot of like, violence happening now and now, so you have yeah. to be careful, innit? Yeah, Stay out the way and make money. Get your money up, kids. <laughs> I knew Huss before music. Huss, Huss, Huss even knows this. I knew my name before music, and we had you. It's so funny, we had personal problems, man. Me and Huss, like, Huss fucking... He, he knew what happened, but anyway... Uh, this place here was the BD was one of the most dangerous clubs in London. In the UK, I think. Yeah, yeah. In the UK. But let's... Partners crew, more fire crew, so so crew, so so crew, nasty crew, nasty crew, Sludum, Sludum. Sludum. Bandum crew, yeah, even N Dubs, N Dubs came in. Dinchy Strider, you get me? He's a rascal. Yeah, Wiley, Boy Better Know, Kano, Boy Better Know. Everybody, even my sound system, musical top sound system, yeah, my biggest, my brother's crew face, we bring our sound system in this building right here. But even how you doing this magic j for another tea and crackers episode as you see behind me we're not in our usual area we're in east london we're in maryland right around the corner from stratford a little fun fact about stratford in 2012 they had the london olympics you know well as now they've got the uh, the football stadium and many other stuff but you know what we're gonna introduce a guy right who He's a travel vlogger, he goes all over the world. He's an African brother, you get what I'm saying? You know, he just recently had a beautiful daughter, he's got a beautiful wife. I'm gonna introduce Black Man to travel. I don't know, where's he gone? I swear he was just here. But do you know what? I don't know what's going on, but do you know what? I just got a text on my phone. So let me see, he just messaged me. So what we're gonna do, We're gonna find him. Yeah, trying to find Black Man the Traveller, but I don't know where he is. He told me a location to come to. We're walking around like idiots, stumbling across rubbish on the floor. I don't know if I should lay down and relax because my legs are hurting me now because this guy's got me on a wild goose chase. But I don't know what's going on. Should I come cross over? I don't know where he is, guys. Yo, bro, where are you? Bro, come to Holden Point, my brother. Holden Point. It's a tall tower block in Alma. Blood, I'm trying to find it, blood. I'm trying to find it. I'm walking around, I'm walking around, I'm coming to you. How long are you going to take? How long are you going to take, bro? I've been here for like more than 10 minutes. One minute. All right, cool. All right, cool. cool. Well, I don't know what's going on down there, bro. You know, big hole. Is this what they're doing in East London, in Newham? But you know what? Let's try and find this guy. I don't know what he's got us on, man. He's got us on crazy goose chase. You know, let's see. Let's see where he is. Oh, Tara! There's a guy! Bro! Bro, check him up, bro. Bro, I mean, you mean you got me on a wild goose chase from the station, bro? I told you, hold the point, my brother. Oh. I don't know what's going on, man. Peoples? Okay, what's going on? Amir, yes, yes, aka yes, Black Mandy yes, Traveller. Yes, 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 yes. It's a black timing, bro. Come on, man. I'll be waiting for you out here. Bro. The yardy timing, the yardy ah, timing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, old school Wall Street, E15, yeah, in Maryland, yeah. So we used to call it M15, M15 in Maryland. So obviously E15 is shared by two postcodes, Stratford and Maryland. Stratford's on the, on the bottom side, Maryland's on the north side. So this is the back side to Alma. Alma is just basically, I would say, I wouldn't say a ghetto, but it's a neighborhood where you find a lot of multiculturalism, different, different, different type of nationalities. The majority are black people. But this is the back sides, but we're gonna walk and I'm gonna show you where we used to chill back in the day. Back in the day, early 2000s, I'm 30 years old, but early 2000s to the mid 2020, 2014, this, this was one of the most dangerous areas um, in Newham. Right now, gentrification's kicked in, as you can see from the high street, you know, they've done brand new apartments, they've rebuilt the roads, 
a lot of white people have came over here, a lot of different foreign nationalities, some Chinese have come over here. So as the years go by, when gentrification hits, they start to up the prices. And unfortunately, us black people, we don't own most of these houses. Most of these houses are, are actually made by the council. So we actually pay in council tax, council rent. So when the prices go up, we can't afford it, they're gonna kick us out. And for people that have money, they're gonna come here. And what they do is they tend to build around the ghettos. When they build around the ghettos and the prices become more expensive, more expensive, we can't afford it, they kick us out. And then they bring other people inside the ghettos that can afford it. And that's when gentrification kicks in. Over here, this tall building over here, um, this is actually a care home. It's the only care home in Maryland. I think it's the only care home in Stratford as well. There's not many care homes. Care homes are basically um, people that are a certain age, if they're 70 plus, correct if I'm wrong, or 60 plus. So if you've got a grandma, a granddad, or maybe your parent, you send them to a care home and you pay a fee for people to look after them, you know, to give them food, to bath them. And this is the, uh, the only care home in the hood, actually. It's a, it's a, it's a tower block. I think some of it, some of it is a care home and some of it is actually residents living there. But yeah, um, so when, when police used to come around here and they couldn't control the crime that was happening around here in Alma, what they used to do, they used to put cameras on top. Uh, we can't see it now because obviously the crime's a bit low. So what they do, they used to put cameras on top and they used to watch us from different angles in the hood. Man. Yeah, so bro, there used to be like 50 men over here, 60 men on that street, you know what I mean? So they used to put cameras on top and then they used to, they used to signal to the other police officers, look, uh, there's like a bunch of kids on that street, they ran to, they ran to that road. So yeah, that, 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 that's how you can tell how dangerous it is. Now look around here, guys, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys how much of a shithole this place is. Look at, look. And this is the look borough of Newham, yeah? And this is, this is, this is Newham, look at that. Look at that, bruv, look, you got a fucking, look. You got a big thing here, you got bottles. Look at this, bruv, you got someone's pillows over here. So, so, so basically, it, you're not gonna be sleeping on that every nah. moment, no. So imagine, <laughs> so imagine, imagine growing up over here and waking up to yeah. this, yeah, like I know. seven days a week. Just imagine, brother. And we pay our taxes. Look at that. Look, you got nappies over there. No clean, no cleaning service. No cleaning service. What's up? What's going off with New New Im Council, man? So I'm saying, my brother, the amount of money that they spent during the Olympics. So you got a mattress over here, bro. In the night time, rats would be running around here in the night time, bro. Yeah. Can imagine. Crackheads, even some crackheads, they'll sleep over here, or they'll sleep underneath here, and they'll be taking drugs. There they put, there they put the, 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 the thing in, the, in, in here. Yeah. And regardless, they can't get in because it's locked, yeah. which is kind of stupid. Yeah. They could have just at least shimmy it over and just... Well, it's Newham, isn't it? <laughs> get, it out, get it out of people's arms reach. Yeah. This is the part of Newham that a lot of foreigners don't see, especially Stratford, because mm. they think about the Olympics, Westfield, you know what I mean? They think about the big buildings. Look around you, brother. It's still crime, even though you can't see it, but a lot of things still happen around it, even though gentrification's kicked in, you know what I mean, my brother? As one of the young bucks, what is it like living around here, man? You know, growing up here? Nah, it's good though, but you have to be, you have to be careful, innit? Mm. It's a lot of violence happening now and that, so you have yeah. to be careful, innit? Yeah. So how do you stay away from violence and stuff? I because because I know the government point. will look at you guys, how you dress, how you look, <laughs> You know what I mean? I like stereotype you. You may think yeah. that okay, you could Stay be doing. Stay the way and make money. Get your money up, kids. <laughs> nah, He's yeah. be getting his money. He's got a love bite on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you have to. Hey, you have to, <laughs> is, you have to stay in your circle. Like, just yeah. don't go outside your circle and that. Like, just, just don't like. Just don't be around too much people. You know? Yeah. Have you guys yeah. witnessed any like crazy stuff? In terms of people getting stabbed, or, yeah. yeah. You don't have to say on camera, but you witness basically world life. Yeah, yeah I've seen. Yeah, of course. So like, you guys go up. Would you want to be like? Do you guys want to still live in the nah, world? I, I play football, innit? So I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. Football. I'm trying to earn me a business. I'm, to, I'm doing my football thing. Entrepreneur. Right now, so. trying That's to earn good. Me a what, 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 what? Who do you play for now? I go. I play for Pro Direct Football College. Well, well, keep it up, man, because yeah. because my because my little cousin plays for Spurs under 18s. One of my yeah. best friends. One of my best friend's um, son, um, called Derek Asamoah, his son's called Malise Asamoah, just got signed to Wigan lo last night. So last keep night. it up, bruv, never, yeah, yeah. never, never give up, never give up. See here, this used to be a, this used to be a park, yeah? So, so, so why have you put all your bottles there, so man? I don't, see what I'm saying? I, I don't understand. <laughs> but you see how gentrification yeah. happened? See this park they, here? They, could, they still could have kept it as like yeah. a little park for the kids, That's for the children, and that so parents can watch them come down. Yeah. 
Whoever. So, so what happened here? So you come in to visit your grandma, your granddad over there? Yeah. You come over here with the um with your grandma, your granddad, you play around here, even the residents living around this block, that's one block here. Yeah, this, yeah, they can come this, here and this was their park. I remember when I was young, when I was memories, we used to come, we used to run, because, bro, there used to be an entrance. You run around here, and see that green door over there? It's oh, open, yeah. so you used to cut through here and cut through the back. Got so, you. when police are chasing you, doing a madness, yeah, officer, yeah, whatever, boom, 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 boom. Oh. oh, officer, don't know what's going on. Bro, you're yeah. in that block, or you're in the other street. Yeah. Or when pagans are coming, man, the man are coming, yeah, right, cool, boom. Cut through here, they're chasing you, bro, you lock that door. How do they, 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 they got to go around. And by the time they go around it, they, 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 they're inside they're someone's house from they can't see. Old school, bro. So, so how comes there's so much bottles over there? Know, what's bro, what's that? Is that recycling or know, just bro. dumb? Look at this, bro. Because, because obviously someone's getting in here to yeah. stack them like that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like we used to play football here. We used to play runouts, not down ginger. Now look at it, bro. So this is the other part, as you can see. And when I told you for, from the park, we used to run you around. Come around and come around. And these doors used to be open, so you can enter these doors over here. So when someone's chasing, police are chasing you, you cut through there. Yeah. You run through here, you press exit, boom. Easy, easy. Cut through here, boom. Another entrance, fam. How are they gonna find you? We know the block. You know what's there, my brother? You know the block. Mm. It's, it's like a maze. Yeah. You know when you're young, yeah, you're playing up that ginger, you're running, you're running, they start yeah. to observe, oh my god, so I can get in this building. Oh, I can get in that building. And, and see the mad thing now, yeah, they, they'll block off all the, all, all, the, all the blocks now. And that's exactly what happened in my block called Edgecott in South Tottenham. Mm. That all the ins and outs, mm. they'll be blocking off. You get what I'm saying? Because of what we done back in the days. Mm. Oh. We got your chronics, man. Let's yeah. them. Um, wow. This is to be one of the most deadliest fucking areas in Newham. Guys, I don't know my generation, generation younger than me, maybe two generations up. Mm. See this here? This block here, bruv. You just used to pull the door and just cut through. Oh, yeah. Still oh, works. Open. I told you. Man, cut through the back. Let's go upstairs and maybe the feet still there. I'm not from this part. I was like, man, back in the day. Bloods, Maryland bloods from here. They yeah, say really fuck 12 for the police. Wow. So here is the legendary block. I'm gonna say certain stuff, but I can't sit on camera for the men that know what happened happened. But here, back in the day. Well, you used to go off all the men who used to chill here. Yeah, the men who used to chill here. Pick up all the old school people like Foggy, Brubay. You know, it was there, but fat boy, everyone, man. Hope everyone's all blessed, everyone's all making money and everyone's peace, but. See this like, prime example, that block used to open and it's still open. Mm. So what we used to do, the pagans used to come over here with police. Like, yo, there's like 50 men in the strip, or like 10 men in the strip, whatever. So we used to chill at some fat boy's house over here, big up fat boy, he's older than me. And the people used to come. So we used to cut through this door, and that door used to open. Okay. So we used to cut through. Or the police come, we used to come over here and just hide up here. And it was there, but we can see who's moving around. Because how you know the block, if someone's chasing you, oh yeah, you know this door's gonna open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know the door's gonna open as well, because you mm. just open it. You just cut through the back, or you just jump over someone's yard, blah, 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 blah. where do they go? Oh, I'll get you, I'll get you. Yeah, so if you guys watch old school Maryland videos, you know, like Boomy, Booms, Blizzy, used to live in this block, big up Blizzy, Rumble, Bear Maryland videos were shot over here. Those are the Channel U days, Channel right? Channel U days, like Rap City. Yeah. It was there. This is, this is a UK, legendary... UK overstood that wooden channel was there. This is a legendary fucking block. People don't understand. Early 2000s, I was into like 2015, 16. Mm. A lot of madness happened here, bro. Wow. I can't even say certain stuff about happened, but for, for, for people that know, they know. This 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 Arnold Street block here, even police were scared. Police were even scared to drive on the street, bro. Remember, this here, yeah, it's one way in. And then there's one way out. So if you come through this way, then you're gonna have to turn right and turn left. And you can't go straight. So okay. you're blocked. Same thing if you go over here, when you, because back in the day we couldn't go all the way towards the west. No, no. So when you drive up here, you have to take a right, take a left, because that was wasteland. Yeah. So I'm saying my brother. And I remember 2012 during the Olympics, the police used to come with big guns and the soldiers that were protecting that strip over there. I'm gonna show you when we walk out. So imagine all the madness happening, man, there was selling drugs, people getting shot, pap, 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 pap. And there's 
military and British soldiers are protecting the street. I don't know, you've been doing nothing about that here. They will come here, but they will come here just to go to the corner shop and buy sweets. <laughs> they will buy some water. They wouldn't ever, ever, ever interfere. So they were just barricading and protecting yeah. the but the, but, the, but, but the police will come and do the thing, you know, they'll yeah. stop and search people, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It's a madness, bro. So just, just, just imagine, like, some man that will be here night time, from morning to night, making their money. Hmm. And you're looking, and we used to go up top. Hmm. We can see who's walking around. Let's go up top, I'll just show you. Yeah, man. But well, I'm not getting 10 years, bro. Some people used to hide and put their things up there, but now they're on top of the block. Look at this, bro. You know what it looked like this up here? Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. You can see who's driving in, isn't it? That's what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I told yeah, you. Yeah. See, you go this way, you have a bus right, bus left. And same yeah, thing so here. You can see everything on this block. Everything right on this block, bro. Yeah, bro. So if the ops was coming down here, you know what's happening. You can see police are coming through here. Yo, yo, make a bed. Yo, police are bust the right. Yo, police are bust the left. You know what I'm saying? Mad. This is a madness, bro. Let me just chill outside. It's back boys, y'all. Back boys, y'all used to be this one or that one. But of, of, of course, back boys gone, innit? Mm. He was like, he was like the only white boy that lived on the street. Then you got Grant. Grant still here. He lived on the other street. So you see, 50 man, 60 man here. Summer. Pepper. Hmm. Pepper. 40 man here. 20 men outside the corner shop, I'm gonna take you. Another maybe 10 men around, around in the car park. And it was there, the Marlies were on the other side over there. So it was a movie then? It's a movie, summertime it was peak, bro. I mean, what I didn't understand in the summertime, bro, there was more men than gal. Even girls were scared to come here, bro. Felt intimidated. Felt intimidated, bro. And you see in this block, we had more guys than girls. You know, certain estates had as a balance. You get maybe, Enough girls that live on the block, you know, that's someone's sister, that's someone's cousin. Here, yeah, bro, this full bear, bear man. I'm gonna tell you a story, 2000, 2000 and, uh, 2012. So I'm walking on the street and I'll see some random people that come up towards me. Yo, brother, where you from? I'm like, ah, oh, not today. Because around here, everyone knows everyone. Everyone knows who's driving what, everyone knows what cars, boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, I've realized something bad's gonna happen to me. So I've dropped my friend's bike and I like, dropped my friend's bike and started chasing me with a shotgun. Broad daylight, I've ran all the way around here and ran the corner. And when they chase me with a shotgun, they're trying to shoot the gun, they're trying to bust it, but I'm ducking down. That's one, um, that's one attempt of someone trying to take my life around here. And then two days later, on the next street, I'm going to take you, they try to kill me two times, two days in a row. So tomorrow, and then the next day. Wow. Yeah. Daylight. Nothing was nighttime, pure daylight. I'm talking 11 in the morning, 12 in the morning. No yeah. mercy, boy. No mercy, bro. Maybe this time it's still working, bro. So what the police used to do, they used to observe us and pay attention to see what we're doing because there was so much crime happening around here, my brother. Mm. So that's got a camera. That's, that camera's gone. And then they put this 360 one during the Olympics. There's a black one and there's, and there's a white one. That black one does a 360. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah. single block has got a camera and the police used to control the movements of what's happening. Because there was so much crime, sometimes they couldn't even enter here. This was it, bro. This was it. 50, 60 man here, regardless if it's hot. This was Alma Street, bro. The Alma convenience store. They got Dennis, can't get him on camera, bro. Mm. And he took over the shop. We've watched the old school Maryland videos, Brune, Ramos, okay. Fat Boy. You get me? All the, all the rap videos from back in the days used yeah. to be shot Lock here, right? Old school rap videos here, even Hust on the video, Jay Hust on the video. And then we got um, Chronics in the video as well, the film that we're here. Mm. This was it. Bro. So, de so definitely if you used to live up there and your mum told you to go down to buy a bag of rice or something yeah. Yeah, and you take long, you would get your ass whooping because yeah, it's, only downstairs. Whoop, it's only downstairs. Bro. <laughs> and this was the only corner shop for the whole block. For real? Yeah, bro. Unless you go towards Maryland High Street, you go towards Stratford or if you're going to go late. And remember, this is all brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah, like, what, yeah. five years old, six years old, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because bro. just after the the, the Olympics, they're still, yeah. still. Yeah. So imagine still now, this. even someone tried to shoot me on this on the street in the night time as well. One attempt. I'm walking down from Westford sides, and the car pulls up, and someone pulls out a gun on me on the street over here in the night time. And I clocked who, and I, I knew who it was. It was other people, but obviously I realised that they're not from here because of the car. Mm. Like I said, you see, we live around here. Even if there's 60, 80 people, you know who's got what car. Yeah. 
you know, uh, my man's got a number plate over here. You know, I'll go and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean, bruv? So you know, you know what's happening. So things have changed in that, bruv. What made you yeah. um, get into the YouTube game? Well, I'll be straightforward with you, yeah? Um, I usually just watch YouTube as football. <laughs> football and illegal, illegal streaming. And then um, when I lived in Australia for two years, in 2018 to 2020. So when I lived there for two years, but I'll be honest with you, the experience living in Australia, I would say it's one of the best countries to make money. Right. But there's a lot of racism. Okay. You will get a lot of racism as a colored person in terms of being black or Asian, yeah? Well, I've got a family member who's there, uh, Marvin Priest. His dad's oh, yeah. the, the legendary Maxi Priest. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Big him up, big him up. Yeah, he's got a band out there, everything. So, everyone, but maybe everyone's experiences are different, right? That's true. Everyone, in life, everyone's experiences are different. Depends how you handle this, you know, the circumstances. So anyway, to make the story short, my friend DM me, Instagram, they were a bigger up. She said, Amir, you got to start a YouTube channel. And I'm like, you need to start a YouTube channel. So listen, you're a black man that comes from the block and you're living, you're living, with, I used to live in a farm, bro. Wow. I used to pick watermelons for money in Australia. Oh, I thought you said you were living in a farm with cows and goats and- Oh, there was cows and goats. No, not, not cows and goats, there was fucking uh, kangaroos. So you was a yeah, farmer, really? yeah? I was a farmer. Black man, the farmer. Yeah, <laughs> I was a farmer. So I used to live in a farm picking watermelons, all that type of stuff. So when I'm doing that now, um, she said, listen to me, start a YouTube channel. You can inspire people within our community to travel around the world. Because I left London to go live in another country that speaks the same language, yeah. but I'm working in a farm and I'm living with Aborigines, the real Australians, the real black Australians. So when yeah. I'm doing that, I'm like, okay, cool. I looked into it, I tapped black travel bloggers. A lot of them were African-American. And I tapped black British travel bloggers. Big up Lydia Dinger. People don't know who this girl is, yet. Lydia Dinger. She's the first black female uh, British, um, African British YouTube travel vlogger. So she popped up on YouTube and I used to watch her, watch her, watch her. So what happened is, from a marketing perspective, I just put the traveler. So my nickname is called Black Man from the streets. Yeah? I just added the traveler from a marketing perspective. And that's, and that's, and that's how it started. So I, my journey started in 2020. First two years I wasn't making money because of COVID. And then fast forward, I got married two years later. Met my partner, but we were going up before anyway, but we got married. And then I thought, yeah, my boy said to me, Amir, go to Pakistan. You've got to change the way you feel. Go to countries where they don't see black people. And that's when it just changed. Because when I first um, saw your video, I, I'm a big habit YouTube watch, but I don't yeah. watch television. That's what yeah. people say, yeah. tell live vision, tell a lot of lies and we're visualizing it. Yeah, yeah. And I love, Watching all the Americans, I love watching the UK guys, the beta mm. squads, yeah, and yeah, yeah. all these guys are doing good and things. Doing good community. things, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because I love to watch all these different travel bloggers, yeah, yeah like you know, um, Simon Wills, Backpacker Ben, yeah, he's yeah. our good friend, I big them up, you get what I'm saying? And you know, Bold with Bankrupt, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, all these guys I was watching for the last four years, and when you came. Black brother with his bantu knots in his head. I was like, Ross, I was like, Rajin, who's the guy with his bantu and his knots in his head? Yeah. And then you were just going to places that, yeah. that, that, you know, the media, mm -hmm. the yeah, mainstream media will say, do not go to. Yeah. And your main thing was, don't believe what the media will, will, will shows you or tells you. Uh -huh. Experience it for yourself. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw that, I was like, Raw. Like, if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah. And for the first time ever, this, this year, 2024, July, I went, I jumped to the deep and I went to Jamaica by myself. Congratulations. And how did you feel? I felt good. Now, when you went to Jamaica, yes, brother, yes, brother. Yes, brother. Uh, when you went to Jamaica, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something. Mm -hmm. Was your mindset different from when you left Jamaica? Yeah. Why? Because, because of the hustle and bustle, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. um, how people's minds think, they, they think that like everything they think is on a, not saying no one's negative, but everybody gets up from, from like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Six o'clock in the morning, and they're out by eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, they're always grafted to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my mindset is, you know, appreciate where I'm living. You know, for those who know, I live in a hostel. Mm. So in the, the day, mm. 
anyone can be in a hostel, anyone mm. can go through a situation, but at the same time, there's people who's it got more, got worse situation, situation than you. And my mum and elders always, always say that to me. And when I go to Jamaica, mm. there's people living in zinc houses with wood. Yeah, yeah. And, and because of Hurricane Burrow, boom, that leaves us something. So, you know what? I have to shut my mouth and appreciate it. Now we're strapped for the same post. His old school picture has. It's so funny. You used to buy cinema tickets for five pounds back in the day. Ooh. You know, you come here, you go out on a date. Hey, listen, babe, yeah. meet, meet me at Stratford Station. You already bought the tickets. Yeah, you already bought it. We're gonna go picture has. We're gonna go McDonald's Street. Like, get excited to eat. Everyone that knows that grew up in this generation, picture has, Stratford picture has. I think it's closed down now, but this was basically the only cinema yeah. that we had in Stratford. So basically, back in the day, in Newham, we had only two cinemas. We had Stratford Pictures and a Showcase Beckton. Okay. That's it. In the whole of Newham, in this part of East London, two cinemas. And this is the theatre. Theatre, yeah. I've been to a couple of live music events yeah. in here before and listening parties. So this is the original theatre of Stratford. And, and it's and listed as well, right? Yeah, it's listed. It's a very famous theatre. And it's probably one of the best theatres that ever came out of East London. There's so right. many famous actors that came and performed here. When you go to primary school, and when you go to secondary school, especially the schools in Newham, they used to take you here for experiences to understand how drama works, how to perform in theatre. So this is a very interesting thing. So bro, I've been here a million and one times. This is the original Stratford, well they call it Stratford Centre, but I call it the old Stratford Market. Yep. Way before Westfield. What? And I still come here, brother. Yeah. And look, bro. I put my I put my laptop in there from CES, brother. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? So what does this place mean to you? This, 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 this means history. Right here, this means history because we started the Caribbean shop over here as well. Now it's gone. Yeah, and then it changed. Then it changed they to changed Subway. Yeah, then Subway. now 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 it's uh, where is it? I don't know. John Park. Yeah. Pure gym. That used to be Peacocks, man. Yeah. Peacocks. Combat. You buy the combat yeah. trousers. You know the cheap hoodies and that. Yeah. But That's the only clothes you can get for school days, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, man. So <laughs> this is. Way before Westwood, also way before gentrification. Yeah. This was this this was where Evan used to go in Stratford, Postgate, whatever. You come here, you buy your groceries, car from warehouse, foot locker, JD. Now times have changed. After school, we used to go outside Matt these. Yes, in the outside, yeah, yeah the, the, outside. the strip. The main strip. strip. All the girls there, all St. Angeles girls. I went for skating, that's all the St. Angeles girls, Silvano girls, everyone used to go out there, enjoy it. Summertime pepper. Yeah. Pepper, hot pepper, but everyone was there in different areas. The new one was one. Not this north side and south side strip. Yeah. Like the new one was one, everyone used to be together. Ah. One so, thing I don't like here, yeah, I'm gonna think, is yeah. these gyms. I like the old school dojo gyms when yeah. no one's seen your face. It's like, this is yeah. like window shopping. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I wanna go in and no one knows my business. Yeah, That's, yeah. yeah I don't want people to see me sweating and whatnot. See, see, yes. Yeah. The amount of times I come to this store. Yeah. Exchange anything. Hey, listen, yeah. you get stolen phones, they don't ask you questions, man. You come here, <laughs> exchange your stolen gadgets and that, man. Like, it's still here, man. And I, bought, and, I bought, and I bought my laptop from here. Yeah. Reasonable price as well. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? They, they sell everything. See, yes. And do you know what? what do you know what it is? What? What does my man from CD Bar is still there? Still there, bro. Let's, let's go and we're see if he's there. Let's go. Back. That's my guy. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go into the, the indoor, indoor market. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Still there. Still there. Yeah. Original, original OG. Yeah. See this guy here? Yeah? I've known him for over 20 odd years. Yeah. He's seen me come up as a DJ and everything. No. I think he's closed down. Yeah, he was, he was here. No, he was here. Yeah. Is he closed? This guy. CD bar. Is he gone now? Yeah. Long time. How long have you had this business for? 10 years. And why did you come up with this business over here in Stratford? Why Stratford? Uh, because it's a very busy area. I like it. Oh, yeah. I, I think Stratford is one of the most busy areas of London. What yeah. do you think? I yeah. think no, so, I agree. yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Now, within the ten years... Uh, but yeah, before... I don't know if you knew, but this is... Uh, this uh, market was closed for four months. No, I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know? Okay. So, if you didn't know... That guy was close. Yeah, I know him from when I was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was here for days. People say I. I over don't know because I years, mean. Over yeah, they say more than that. Yeah, more about than thirty years. Old school CDs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he closed. Then the market bill is closed, and when the business has getting very quiet, mm. I think because of that, okay. we hope 
it will pick up again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would you say that it's changed for the good, or would you say it's changed for the bad? The gentrification, many prices have gone up, the housing has gone up, the rent has gone up. How would you, how would you say the difference has been happening for the last ten years since you've been in? Uh, to be honest, I think everything has changed. And especially after the pandemic, yeah. we used to be, we used to do very well before the pandemic. But when the pandemic got us, the business should get very bad. Yeah. And now, in which way I think it, it has changed? Everything is more expensive. Um, when you used to buy, we used to buy things. I think now, even less than half price that we can do it now. Wow. Honest. Guys, we just spoke to this lovely lady who told us that she was been working here for over 10 years with this business. As you see what she sells, stuff to do with women's, you know what I mean? And um, also, this bu building right here, this shop right here, it's a print shop now, yeah? I'll promote them, but I've got my own print company, Print Attack UK, so be up to my cousin Baba, be up to Print Attack UK. But this spot, was very iconic to a lot of us who come from north, south, east, and west of London. The guy that owned this place, owned this place, was head for over probably more than 20 to 30 years. It was called CD Bar. They had one here. They had they had one in uh, Hackney, yeah, and somewhere else. I had three of them, and then he was the last shop. And every hip hop. R&B dance or if, if you got if you got um if you got a club night if you got a concert you can, you can come here if you if you if you got your own mixtape you could do the sale and returns you get what I'm saying you could do your sale and returns obviously you know obviously from from each sale if it's ten pound CD yeah. they, they will take they will take three pound out of the, out, out of the money yeah. you get what I'm saying so they used to do a lot of the sale and returns here you know they used to sell um, hip hop clothing yeah. magazines yeah. like if, who remembers yeah. the Source magazines who remembers hip hop connection what started in the UK yeah. rap page black beat right on you get what I'm saying I remember even doing H and B times H and B yeah when people like teach you try it on. Dizzy Rascal, yeah. Eddie Dubs, you know what I mean? Right. The list goes on. Yeah, Ch Chipmunk, when he used to rap back in the day with, um, yeah. with Ice Cake. People used to come right. and get their, get their CDs and mixtapes from here. Yeah. This is original pioneer. Man used to come here and buy the thing instead of getting to H&B. Yeah. He used to come here and get some old school reggae, reggae music. But yeah, this and there's only certain shops yeah. what was dedicated to our culture, to to, to, the, to the UK culture, to the, to, to the Caribbean culture, to the African culture. And you know this was one of the iconic shops. It used to be called CD Bar. I, I, I can't remember remember the guy's name but it used to be called CD bar yeah like, I probably will got the guy's number in my phone still yeah because like look, look, let me find it CD but no I don't have it I don't have his number in my phone but this place a lot of memories there's times I used to bunk on school and I used to come up to Stratty yeah and I used to chill in the shop yeah until until it's going home time I'm telling you that but wait I grew up in North London yeah obviously you're an East man yeah have you Notice something when it comes to the black hair saloons and the Turkish hair saloons. I love our black culture, I love the yeah. black hair saloon, but yeah. look how clean yeah. that shop is compared to we go to our, our shops. And and to think about, I always tell people if you're gonna do stuff, follow how the Turks do this and look how clean it is. Yeah. You, you got all the, you got everyone in their section, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you probably got one or two people. One doing the sweeping and one and one probably behind the till. You got the lady behind the till and whatnot. And this this is it. We're in Stratford. We're in the original market. The original. Bro. <laughs> this was the spot back in the days. Old school here, McDonald's, summertime. But after school in general. Yeah. In general. But for, I know yeah, there's a lot of mad things used to happen right here. So I've been, been I've been past here where man them are getting getting done or getting moved to or Pelly, it's bang up Pelly's hair because of the youth man is up to no good and all sorts. So what does this point mean to you? This, this, this is where it started from as um, being a teenager after school. After school you take it to 25 and the 25 used to be long. Mm -hmm. Now he's double decker. Mm -hmm. Long buses, you jump on the bus, you didn't even used to tap the oyster. You, like, you, you never used to pay. Oh, when they brand the new route. Yeah, when they brand the new route. Yeah, so obviously as things change, you know, time grows, but when we were young, we used to come out over here after school. Forest Gate people used to be here, local people was here, Andrews was there. All different people from different schools used to come around outside McDonald's. Yeah, right, yeah. But it was like a religion. Monday to Friday after school, we had nothing to do. 
We never used to go home and do our homework. We used to come over here, hang around, chat to the girl from St. Angeles, from Sel Bernal, from Kingsford, from Langdon. And in summertime, pepper, everyone here enjoying. Mm. Everyone here enjoying. We take the girl to the cinema, we some people for to picture house, we come over here, people do roller skating, you go to Stratford Park, just to bank football on the other side. This is Stratford Centre. And you, and you got the town hall right there. The town hall right there. Man, we used to have clubs up here. Uh, Where was Stratford Rex? Stratford Rex was on the left hand side over there. Down there, innit? Yeah, left hand side. Yeah, we have to uh, go there in a minute. What does Stratford mean to you? Stratford? Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <"Hur." laughs> and, oh, how is it having a business in Stratford selling Caribbean and African? Yeah, it's not bad. We have a lot of them around. We have a lot of Caribbeans, a lot of Nigerians, around. So it's like. There's so many people around because of the Olympics as well. Mm -hmm. So it brought a lot of people around. So the business is good. Yeah. yeah. You're selling some. Oh, you're you see, I'm looking at stuff like this, yeah? Because yeah. I don't wear gold or diamonds and stuff. Stuff like this is tempting me to buy. I've done various jobs around in my life. I worked as a kitchen porter, I washed plates in the UK. I worked as a chef, I cooked food for people in the kitchen. I worked as a waiter uh, during 2020. I've done delivery jobs, so I was delivering food for Uber Eats, Stuart, Deliveroo. So I've done, I've done numerous amount of jobs um, in my past, you know. But what kept me going was dedication and determination. And rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle. I always believe what Nipsey said, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So I implement two words in my life daily, time and consistency. Use the time that God gave you and uh, be consistent in whatever you want to do in life. I knew in the end, bro, I'm not going to be washing plates for next man for the rest of my life. I knew that I'm not going to be delivering food for the, for the next four years during pandemic. I knew that I'm not going to be cooking food for next man. So I, I had a vision. When I used to work as a kitchen porter, the customers come in and I wash the plates and the chef used to treat me in a certain manner. And when I was cooking food and they treat me in a certain manner, I said, you know what? I walk past the customer, do you want to use on YouTube? I give them a business card. When I used to deliver food um, during, during 2020, right. when I was doing for Uber and stewards to deliver Uber and just eat like this Asian guy's doing right over here, I used to be in a pedal bike. Oh, I never had a scooter, I was pedaling. Wow. I used to pedal from here to Hackney, from here to Camden, here to Kentish Town. That's some exercise, boy. Exercise, pumping, pumping. But every time I delivered food, I'd be like, okay, here's your food, I'm serving the delay, but you know what? Do you want to use on YouTube? Take a business card. While you eat and enjoy your food, just check out my YouTube channel. Yeah. Because I always had that vision. I, I always had that, you know, that end goal. For, you know what? Something good's going to happen in the end, but it's about the right timing. Time so I never gave up. And I used that time and consistency. I stuck to those two words. Right, guys. We're in Maryland, just opposite Maryland Station and, and down the road from Stratford. This building here, right, it's called Cart and Horse. I worked here for about two to three years having, doing security. Back then, I had dreadlocks before, guys. And this is a, an Iron Maiden inspired um, pub where Iron Maiden first place. It's, as it says there, the birthplace of Iron Maiden. It says it right there. So basically, when I was working here, Right here used to be like a performance area, stage area, stuff like that. I used to work either in here or I used to be outside, you know, taking people's IDs and stuff like that. Through here was the entrance to the garden. As you see, they change it up, there's toilets now and stuff like that. So when I was working here, we used to get, I used to have to uh, maintain the garden as well. Every, every, every so often look to make sure people are, are not doing what they shouldn't be doing. Oh, yeah. Wow! I remember the plans when I was working here. I remember the plans that they was gonna build downstairs as a performance area for bands. Yeah, because we knew that a lot of residents would be moaning because of the sound. Because it's, remember, this is this is a rock bands will come here or tribute bands for not just Iron Maiden, for different types of people. When I first came here, I was like. Okay, what is all this? And then week after week, different tribute bands and people are talking about music, talking about rock and roll, and saying, yo, if it wasn't because of black people, we wouldn't be doing this. And they know their history on rock music. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? And being here 
at the time and even singing certain songs and I don't even realise that, bro, I didn't even know that I know the songs. <laughs> and then when they're telling me, the, pl- the management are telling me the plans of this building, yeah. what they're going to do and seeing it in, in my face right now for the first time since 2019, 20, I'm, I'm impressed. Has it always been the same like this, like underneath? No, no, this was dug down to create this. Oh, wow. This used to be a small cellar, which would be like this height underneath oh. the bar. Ah. And I uh, had steps to come down there, but it was tiny, small. Oh, so it was, it was a wine cellar for the alcohol, basically. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so this was dug down completely. Yeah. To, create, to make this. To make this. Yeah, man, it's a legendary fucking shop. It's shop right here, owned by the Turks, bro. It's in, still standing. Yeah. Twenty five hours. Come at five in the morning. It's open. Two in the morning. It's open. Seven days a week, bro. This is Christmas Day, you come here, it's open. <laughs> um, so, so we went to the picture house. Yeah, the cinema. Statue. And the statue. That was this, innit? This was here. That oh. was there before, but they just moved it over here for some reason. To make the area look that more gentrified. Yeah, yeah, more, more gentrified. popular. But this? This is an iconic pillar. Over here. Wow. Right now, your new plaster world, man. Old school, man. Stratford Green, Chad Green. People used to bang for Stratford sides. Crazy Titch comes from these sides. You know, Crazy Titch. You know I mean? Crazy's got a new singer along. Old yeah. school, man. So this is this is this is new Plaster Road, which combines Stratford, Glasgow, further down over there. And we've got Cannon Town on, on the other side. You keep going, you end up on Barton Road, the main road. And they call this yellow brick. The police are patrolling already, but it's not, it's, it's not even 2 pm. So this is yellow brick. So yeah. why do they call it yellow brick? Because most of the what if you if you well we can walk two minutes but most of the buildings on the outside is yellow right so they used to call it yellow brick so that's what they call it back in the day and you got the two yellow council states uh tall tall buildings oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 so this is Stratford like I said Maryland's the other side Stratford's the other side same postcode E15 two areas one postcode so best kebab shop you ever come over here in this part of Stratford you're a Turkish buddy they run that part over there man best kebab shop over there so yeah, this is so now. Now you can see the yellow. See the yellow. Oh you yes, 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 yellow, yes, yellow, yes, yellow. Yes, Every yes, house yes. is a yellow. So they used to call this brick. yellow brick. Yeah, bro. Wow. Yeah. This is the other side of Stratford. That now used to, that looks like it used to be a pub. Yeah, probably was. But these are the back sides of the estate of this part of Stratford. But a lot of gentrification's kicked in. Like I said, people's gone jail. Some people ain't gone jail. You know, things have changed. But a lot Salam of these alaykum. people, alaykum, yeah. there's a lot of things that's happened around here where a lot of the youth around here have been blinded by the older generation because they got misleaded. They had to do certain things that they didn't want to do in life. You know what I mean? Right, so there's a lot of things that's happened around here. A lot of people have witnessed certain things, not even their parents have witnessed back home in Africa and the Caribbean. Yeah. But it's certain things that you have to go through that's going to make you become a stronger man. Right. Around here, there's been a lot of murders, but a lot of murders around here, but. Wow. You know what I mean? I couldn't come here. Like, I could come here back in the day yeah. when Mary and, and, and this part of Stratford were, we were one. Right. And obviously when the beef kicked in, you know, certain people around here chose to stick with Chad Green. You know what I mean? When it was Stratford versus Plasto or Plasto versus Maryland or whatever. So these people, like, I couldn't come here. When they put the Olympics in Newham, the government realised that they had a plan. So you got international, think about it bro, you got international train station, Stratford international train station. You can go from here to Paris, France, here to Belgium, Brussels. Then you got the biggest shopping mall in Europe, Westwood at your back door. Then you got the biggest, one of the biggest international football stadiums, West Ham over there. And you got the biggest uh, Olympic park around there. Yeah. It's a money making scheme. Mm. Cannon Town, south side of Newham, the government pumped more than two billion pounds sterling. But me, and they gentrified the area. Let me ask you something. Since the, since the Olympics in 2012, Gary, yeah. that year was a crazy year because you had the riots, yeah. you, had, you had the Olympics yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. What has the Olympic Park and all that area, the government, done for the, the borough of Newham and, now, and the communities? Now, I'll tell you one thing, yeah. When Olympics came, it made people a lot of jobs. A lot of people got jobs. When they built the, the, the Westwood, a lot of people got jobs. So mm-hmm. imagine the people that were jobless, on, on the dole, job seek allowance, weren't making money. So from that perspective, that perspective, a lot of people got jobs. Even some of the youth man them probably changed their, changed their mindset. Some of the girls changed their mindset. But on the scale of things from one to 10, if you look at it realistically, prize, prizes to pay rent has gone up. Right. Poverty level has gone up. Crime has probably maybe just 
just maybe you know like like you know gone gone below the surface but realistically the rent is probably gone up because look they're fucking building stuff like this mm. so many people that live in these buildings are first generation second generation citizens and imagine half of them have never seen maybe something beautiful where they live but they made this as their home yeah they built family worth of generation you know what i mean by imagine raising your kids 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 here you know everyone you know that person that person that person regardless of your color skin religion but we're all one yes one community and i think that's a sad thing within the areas around here communities are starting to wake up because when yeah. identification hits so and so's moved here, so and so's moved there. You don't have that community type of and vibe. You can't go next door to the arts for sugar or there for you a go. piece of rice. There you go. So you don't have that type yeah. of community vibe that you had before. But, but around here was definitely, definitely hot as well. Bro. But obviously, gentrification once again kicked in. I don't know if it's still dangerous, but. Well, it's this... definitely dangerous because the guy's got, got a lock on his wheel, so. Yeah. so, so yeah. And in his car, so yeah. something must be still going down in, yeah. in the hood. Yeah. It's the block punch, it's the Stratford size, man. I Jay heard Huss. a famous big musician is from these blocks. Jay Huss, he's from these parts of Stratford. Yeah. Obviously, he's talented, he's moved out, he's done what he's got to do. He's himself up, man. He's doing positive yeah. for the community as well. When you first heard about Jay Huss, what was your initial reaction to his music and him as an artist? Was it on, you, on um, Instagram, he calls himself Ugly Crown for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's where he's recanted as well, isn't it? No, no, it's from, it's from uh, I think it's Gambia. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. you know it is. I knew Huss before music. Huss, Huss, Huss even knows this. I knew my name before music. I mean, yeah, it's so funny. We have personal problems, man. Me and Huss, like Huss, fucking. He he knew what happened, but anyway, um, Huss is a cool guy, very humble guy. He always he always had a smile on his face. I didn't know that he was lyrically talented. I had no idea, not at all. You know, you watch him from back in the day when he's rapping, doing the freestyles. But it just goes to show you that you can come from nothing and you can make it to something you know what i mean yeah. so has done something that certain people can't do in this part of uh, of newham and he proved people wrong against all odds and he's shown that if you have the talent and you come from a dangerous area you can make it and you can make it out and you can be successful so, so do you think he broke the cycle for other artists 100%, to come out there 100 the bro he broke the cycle and he started his afro swing type of thing you yeah. know what i mean even though there's other people from south london that stp and all them other people from south but Huss bought that that east london afro swing of course you got kojo and you got young Yo, Bay, yeah, yeah, but yeah, Huss yeah, is in yeah. a different league compared to him i'll be straightforward yeah. it's not because i'm from this part of new york but Huss is just like Huss is talented, bro. Like, you can do Afro swing, you can do Caribbean music. You yeah. Know? You got police patrolling again. <laughs> you just missed it. But um, Huss is very talented, so he comes from these sides. But not just yeah. Huss, you got, you got, you got, um, you got that crazy Titch. You know what I mean? You got Slinky, you got maybe other, other famous people that come from these parts that I can't remember. If you know all the, all the artists is from, from, yeah. from, is it, what's his block? Plasto? Plasto, Stratford. Plasto and Stratford, all yeah. the famous grime. Nasty crew, criminal. Yeah. Big market. Type, type it in the description, gets, guys. Gets from Plasto sides, fam. It's just like, like, like the list goes on. Bro. Right now, Get people, to... still with the black man, Mr. Amir, black man, the traveler, the African Muslim brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we got to all my Muslim salam alaikum to you guys and voila. You know, walaikum salam. But right now, see this building for a lot of us from north, south, east, and west. Yeah, back in the days. What was it used to be called? Stratford Rex. Right? And who used, who's got a famous lyric? Bond the Club Rex. <laughs> 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 More fire crew. We got to, we got to, we got to the More Fire Crew family. I know you guys for years, man. This place here was it be deep, it was one of the most dangerous clubs in London. In the UK, I think. Yeah, yeah. In the UK. But let's keep it walking up. Yeah, dangerous. Dang, when I mean dangerous, it was so dangerous that, that back in the days when the grime scene was on the height, uh -huh. Heat FM was popping, Deja Vu was doing their thing back in the days, Rinse FM was, was going on mad, and the station where I was on, yeah, Heat FM 96.6, yeah, because I'm a Heat FM original, we all used to come here to do raves. Partners crew, more fire crew, so so crew, so so crew, nasty crew, nasty crew, slew them, slew them. bandum crew, yeah, even Young. N dubs, N dubs came N -dubs. here, Dinchy Strider, you get me, he's a rascal, yeah, Wiley, boy, Kano, Kano, boy, better know, everybody, even my sound system, musical sound system, yeah, my biggest, my brother's crew face, we bring our sound system 
in this building right here. But even yeah. Jamaican artists, probably like Beanie Man, yeah? yeah. Back in the day, come here, bro. Yeah. yeah. Shot for Rex, Google it, Google the history. Google this place. And after Shot for Rex got shut down, it's, it's changed some bouncy place, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, some yeah. jumping place. See this? These entrance here, brother. See people here, bro. No, no, come, come, come this way, yeah? And, and Black Man can bash with me. See this road, straight down, full. Imagine this, imagine this, yeah, you're lining up. You're lining up to get in, yeah? You're wearing your off-key your off machinos, yeah? You're wearing your shoes. You're wearing your off-key shirt, your off-key machino, bizarre shirt back in the day. Remember them days? You was a young buck still. I know you was a young buck, still. Old yeah? Old. But them days, we, we used to dress up. See, nowadays clubs, you don't really dress up no more, bro. I could wear a normal T-shirt and the trousers and the trainers are going to dance. Dress code was different. But back then. in those days, yeah? Big up to Heartless Crew, big up to my family. Bushkin, we got to Fonty Mawanti, we got to Mighty Mo, they're about family for life, original North London Tottenham brothers, yeah? Them man, they, when it comes to the off key clothing, those guys set the train. But that was the era of 2003, 4, 5. Come here, Stratford Rex, this Friday. was it. Friday, Saturday night, yeah? Hey, full of black people, lined up, straight, straight up, oh, even going down to the town hall, yeah. you know, down there. Full of them. Full. I used to come over here, park the car, yeah. is it for, uh, and then park the car at the back, uh, you get what I'm saying? People used to come to the train, oh look, the nearest train station is right here, as you see right here. This is High Street, Stratford High Street. And and, 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 and the main Stratford station is where is where, where Westford is. We used to come here or walk from down there, jump on the buses. People used to jump on the bus from, from East London, the other side of East London was Hackney, um, Dawson, Tower Hamlets. People used to go from Tottenham, jump on the bus, coming up over that side, walking across or coming from the coming from that side this was a spot and everyone knows about Stratford Rex yeah pull it in the comment section and tell us about it okay I've got a question to ask you what part of the world have you traveled to that you was that you thought to yourself wow I'm a bit scared this this got me shook when you when you traveled there and you went there you feel like you know what like I thought I was okay but do you know what? let me hold it let me firm it but you, but you literally were shook. Ooh. Um, Trinidad Tobago. Mm. When I went into the hood of Trinidad Tobago. So is it true what they're saying about Trinidad? Because, yeah, because, Trinidad. I, because, I, because I, because I know um, Christmas list went there, yeah. and you know, yeah, the situation out there yeah. still going, still got a court case. Yeah, but is is the mandem really tooled up out there, like yeah. really, like? Well, Trinidad Tobago, man, it's, uh, I can't even say certain things, but you gotta be careful Trinidad Tobago. You gotta, yeah. uh, you gotta, you gotta know someone in the hood. Ob obviously, I had some connect, but um, that's a place where I can say something can just go off yeah. easily because you don't know what's happening. So Trinidad Tobago, just in the hoods. Yeah. Um, but if you had to actually, say and, actually not, and even walking in the street, because apparently if you, if you have your hair in a particular type of way, you come from one gang. So Trinidad Tobago. Yeah. So if you had to tell people to travel to Trinidad Tobago, how would you tell them to travel? I would say go to and Tobago, but just don't do what I've done. Don't go to the hoods, uh, just in a certain manner, and people leave you alone. Okay, and then another question I wanted to ask you is, is um, what is your dream destination? Because you, you, you travel to America, you've done the hood vlogs in New York, you went to, you went to, to my family's land of Jamaica, yeah, before I even went for my first time, you went to Trini, yeah. you went to Afghanistan, yeah. you went to India, yeah. you went to Pakistan, which is the which is next door to each other. Yeah? So so yeah, and you lived in Australia, I forgot that. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. So you even lived in Australia, mate. Yeah man. So so what is your actual dream destination that you always said to yourself, do you know what? A man, I would like to go here. North Korea. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me why North, North Korea. Korea because because a lot of people are scared to go to North Korea because of the war, because of the tension, because of, because of the, 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 the now, president they got. I'm gonna, everyone wants to go South Korea because it's more calmer. Yeah, I want to go North Korea because everyone wants to go South Korea. So I'm totally, I'm always, I'm always been the opposite in life. I want to, I want to, I want to have a challenge. Why? Because South Korea, I'm gonna say color because South Korea has probably seen black people before. North Korea, I don't think they've seen a black person before, unless it was certain American tourists. So I want to say North Korea, I want to untouch it. I want to film as much as I can and show like North Korea from my perspective. Hopefully other people can relate. Apart from North Korea, I really want to do Central Asia. Like Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, uh, Uzbekistan, those countries are very untouched. North Korea and Istanbul.
bro it's been a pleasure thank you for taking tea and crumpets around stratford around your blocks you know we went everywhere today you get what i'm saying maryland stratford we visited certain places that i've been to for years um is there any positive acronyms that you can say to people to inspire people even to get them to 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 get into what what we're doing what you're doing as a as a content creator at the end of the day i used to wash plates i used to be a waiter i used to deliver food i was never embarrassed the job that i had done but it it, it it helped me to get to where i am right now mm. and obviously growing up in the hood and understanding different communities, different cultures, different religions that also educated me. So I taught myself how to be a man and how to maneuver. So I'm just gonna say, utilize what you have. Just cause you come from a, an area that has a negative past doesn't mean that you're part of that, part of that, you know, part of that movement. So cause you come from an area where there's a lot of crime and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't mean that people can judge you because you come from that area. That is so true. you should utilize what you have to be able to grow and to move out of this area and help your family. That's what I can say. And for those who also get in contact with you, what's yeah. the best format to get you? Just DM me on Instagram, blackman underscore the traveler, DA the traveler. Send me an email at blackman the traveler at gmail.com. And we can make it happen. I'm, I'm here to work with anyone. Um, anyone that comes from an interesting country, DM me. Cause I need to go to somewhere that's dodgy or interesting. Yeah. Apart from that, that's it. That's all I can say, man. Big up T's and Crumpets. Yeah. Support these people. They're doing big things, yeah. Black people, support each other to be able to grow. Stop none of this, I'm not going to work with you because of this egoness. We need to grow. We need to work together to grow. That's all I can say. That is it. Love. Well, brother, thank you. And this has been another episode yeah, of Tea and Crumpets yeah, in the borough of Newham, Maryland, Stratford, with Black Man and Traveller. If you yeah. want to catch us in your block, in your neighborhood, yeah. in your community, please write in the description or send us a message on Instagram and we will reply back to you. Peace.